Hi, my name is Kim Martini, and I'm a physical oceanographer at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. I study internal waves and sea ice. So what exactly is an internal wave? Similar to waves on the ocean surface, an internal wave propagates along the interface of two fluids with two different densities. But instead of that interface being between air and water, the interface is within the ocean, which has an infinite number of density layers stacked on top of each other. A unique feature of internal waves is that they also propagate vertically, traveling thousands of kilometers and bouncing off the surface and seafloor. The Arctic internal wave field is relatively weak due to sea ice, which quickly damps internal waves. But when there is no ice and the ocean is exposed to the atmosphere, internal waves are not damped. Then they can propagate into the deep Arctic, where just like surface waves, they break and mix the ocean. Recent decreases in sea ice suggest internal wave generation and mixing will increase in the Arctic, affecting both seasonal ice formation and large-scale circulation. For more information, you can go to my website or follow me on Twitter.